Hey there, Scorpio. This is Lex. I'm here with your October reading. I have actually already done this reading, but I uh, had a call that came through and I was trying to stop the call. I ended up actually stopping the video, so I wanted to re-record everything together for you. Um, if this resonates with you, please um, drop a comment for me in the comment section. If it does not, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. To book personal readings, there's a link in the description below. And also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, so I already got the clarifiers out here. So your video, unfortunately, is going to be shorter because I've already done it. Okay, but I'll, I'll go through all your cards for you and then tell you how it clarified. All right, so I had the Knight of Earth. The Six of Fire. The sun, renewal, two of air, seven of air, and the balance card. All right, Scorpio. So for you, you are in grind mode. You are in hustle mode, okay? It is time for you to buckle down and get things done and honor all of your commitments, not only to other people, but to yourself is what this means. Everything that you have said that you want to do, everything that you have promised yourself, everything that you've been putting off and putting off, you need to go ahead and buckle down and get them done this month, okay? Um... I have with this renewal and this two of air, um, moving in a new direction, okay? Uh, favorable assessment of facts, okay? So um, how things have been going in your life, you recognize that this ain't working and you need to make a move, okay? You may have been feeling like um, timing has been at play here with the seven of air. It says poor timing, more going on than meets the eye. And then with the balance card, um, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, waiting for perfect timing. You may feel that the timing isn't right. You may want, you may be putting things off and saying, oh, well, maybe next month or next year or, or when my kids get out of school or this, that and the other. The timing is now, Scorpio, okay? Um, you are moving towards victory and success. When you make this move, you know that this is where you need to be. You know this is where you need to go, but you just need to take the time to do it, okay? So to clarify these cards, I had the King of Swords, okay, where it was saying move in a new direction. You need to clear out things and people that are negative and hindering you from taking this next step in your life. Two of Pentacles. This is also meaning that you need to make a decision. Okay, I'm going to put this here with this Two of Air. You need to take some action here, okay? I have the Devil card. This is some. This is definitely something or someone that has a hold on you that is making you feel like you can't move forward or that you shouldn't move forward or making you feel guilty for some reason about putting yourself first. And you need to go ahead and let that go because I have this Knight of Swords, Okay. Knight of Swords is movement and action, okay? This Knight of Swords is a fast-moving knight, okay? It comes in quickly. As soon as you buckle down and you make the necessary steps that you need to take to go where you need to go, it's going to move just like this. Before you know it, you're going to be here. But you have to make that step, okay? Walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Just clear them out altogether, turning your back on that. The job that's not serving a purpose, they getting on your nerves and you know you better than this. The people who are holding you down and making you feel guilty because you want to better yourself. OK, making you feel like um, you telling you stuff like, oh, you think you better than us and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? Anybody that does not want the best for them, you know, what I'm saying there's something wrong with them. OK, and that may make you better than them because you have at least the common sense to know that there is better out there than what you currently have. OK, this devil energy, this is something that has a hold on you. It's like this, this haze 
that's got you entrapped in your mind and in your thoughts. It, it may be, like I said, a person that's making you feel guilty. It could be a Capricorn um, or whoever it is, but they something or someone has a hold on you that you need to cut away. You need to cut away. You need to walk away from new direction. All these cards are telling you to clear the air, clear your way, clear your path, clear your path. Scorpio, that's probably going to be the title of this video. You need to clear your path. All right. So I drew some uh, romance oracles for you. Also, first card that came out was release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so um, what I'm getting, Scorpio, is that you are either in a relationship that's a dead end, or you are still tied to an old relationship that was a dead end. You keep holding on to this person. That quite frankly wasn't worth a damn. <laughs> Not old folks say it. Not worth a you know what. All right. It's not going to work. You know it's not going to work. You know that everything that they have ever told you was a lie. They in your face will tell you nice sweet things that make you feel like oh well maybe there's still hope. Ain't nothing there. Ain't nothing there. All right. Wake up. Ain't nothing there. Let it go. Calling in your soulmate. All right. Call in the person that supposed to be there, that needs to be there, that is meant to be there. Okay. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right. Um, if you have not um, read or heard anything about the law of attraction, I suggest that you do some research on YouTube. There are several hundreds and thousands of videos out there about the law of attraction and getting things that you want. And manifesting things. Yes, 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 child. Yes. So to clarify these romance oracles, I have the Hierophant. This could be a Taurus that you were dealing with. I have the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And Ace of Wands. Um, this could, like I said, could be an Earth sign or a Taurus. Um because I have Nine of Pentacles, could be Capricorn or Virgo on here, that there wasn't enough attraction with them and you had to let them go. Um, you may have wanted to marry this person or they may have wanted to marry you and you didn't feel nothing for them. You knew that it wasn't going to work. Or maybe you wanted to marry them and they just was moving too dang slow with their emotions and their actions. It was definitely a disconnect here, okay? Uh, so a lot of manipulation is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, but to get this actual soulmate, you want someone that actually is going to exemplify the characteristics of what this Hierophant and this King of Pentacles stand for. Although, the, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, although this Knight, let's see, this is what happened last time, and then I messed up, y'all. Okay, I got it. So this Knight of Pentacles, although is a slow moving knight, he's very grounded and sturdy. This Hierophant is someone that's very, uh, very, very spiritual and, and um, moral. OK, you need to stand up for what you want and what you know is right so that you can move forward. New opportunities and ideas come in. OK, so let me go ahead and wrap this up for you. I thought this video was going to be shorter because I had already pulled the cards, but it ended up being how it was going to be the first time. So good deal. All right. Crystal clear intentions. Yes. Setting your intentions and visualizations, y'all. 
Um, your, your card says crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it without with. Let me read that again. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it without. I keep saying without. Focus upon it with unwavering faith. I'm so sorry. It took me 10,000 years to get that out. But you see that? Set your intention. This goes back to that law of attraction that I was mentioning before. So this is what you need to do, Scorpio. Do some research on that. I also have some videos. Check my um, check my channel in the video um, tab. There are several videos about how to attract more love and purpose into our lives, okay? This is your October reading, Scorpio. Please comment if this resonates with you. Check your moon, rising, or Venus if it didn't. Book... Uh, personal readings. There's a link in the description and hit that subscribe button, my baby. Take care.